All right, everyone, country here this morning. Just got a little short video I'm gonna show you today. Uh, Lower my old trailer here. There's a few things that people always think is difficult about this, but it isn't, it's real easy. So y'all stick around, see what I'm gonna show you. Well, as you can see on these trailers, you have this angle arm back here. There's no bolts in this. Except for right here. You got a couple bolts. Which really isn't needed. And those will break off. Anyway. But, well, they put some right there. That's all there is. And you have this piece up here. Then. And it's got a tack weld in the corners. And that's usually what, that's usually all it holds these in. Is that. All you have to do is take an angle grinder with a cutting wheel and just cut down into that, and cut that off, cut that weld loose. You can actually cut them back here at the back corner a little bit and take a pry bar and pry them up, and then the little tack weld they have on there will break. They usually not help very well, but it holds the boards in. I can see here a few places where they put some bolts in it to bolt down the boards. Not all the boards, just some of the boards. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm going to slide all the lumber off and then strip out the floor. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Alright, what I had to do here is I had to get my little 20 volt impact and I had to put a, a 3 8 to a quarter inch adapter, put a quarter inch socket on, and then I got my little T30 dork's head bit to get them out. And as you can see, they're pretty bad, pretty bad shape. Didn't hit it but like one time with the impact and it come on out. I don't know, they're all pretty messed up, so they're probably not gonna go back in. I'm probably not gonna put any bolts at all back in. So that's what I gotta do. I gotta get these bolts out with that and then move on to something else. Alright, the angle grinder with them little cutting wheels. You see down in there where I've cut the wheels. Cut the little tack wheels all along here. And I'll pry it up. Work it off. And some of these bolts I could get out. Just holding these boards down. Some of them can't. They ain't gonna worry about it. No big deal. The board will break or the bolt will break or something because they're so rusty. So, now next is to pry bar and hammer, get that up, and get it up. Whew. Alright, got that metal piece off. It was right there. So it's off. Now, just raising up all the boards and breaking them all loose. Ain't too much break loose on these since they're all rotten, but that's what it is. All right, once you get one board loose, and most of these boards will pop loose real easy, but you may have a couple stubborn ones that bolt, that screw, whatever they put them down with, don't want to let loose. So you just take a couple pry bars and get it started and pop them. You get a few of them though, and they always seem to come loose a lot better after that. If you get a couple out. All right, the board is all out. Broke them loose. That didn't really take but a few minutes to do. Next is to pull the boards up here and uh, square them off on the end. Cut them to length. And drop them in. Nothing to that either. Just get the old skill saw out and go to cutting. So let me kind of clean up my mess around here. I got to get all that out of the way. And we'll start putting some in. I'll show you how easy all that is. Whew, all right. Been working here on this. Don't take long. Just throw a board up here. Cut it off to the length it needs to be. and Drop it in. Got to kind of pull it to the front. And then stick it under the lip back here. 
and just kind of bump them in, bump them all tight. I'm cutting these to where they're kind of tight. Want them to kind of fit in there a little tight, and then I'm going to show you the rest then later. Alright, they're all in there. And they all fit perfect. There's kind of a math to this. If you look, there's four two by eights, and there's four two by sixes, and then here's four two by eights. And that's, of course, that's plain lumber. It's all treated. And the map just come out right doing it that way, so. Next step is I gotta get some bolts and then I'm gonna show you then how I put these back in. It makes it easy, so. I gotta go get some bolts. So I'll be back. Okay, next thing I'm just gonna take the grinder and I'm gonna grind off these welds on here. I'm be drilling some holes and bolting it down and I'm gonna show you that too. Okay. Got it all grinded off, got it fit in there. I'm gonna drill a hole over in that corner, drill a hole over in this corner. Not all the way over in the corner, maybe like right there in the middle of that board. Then I'll put a couple more here and, and here. I'm drilling through that metal, through the board, and into the metal angle underneath. That's about all it is. Okay, there we go. Hole drilled, it's all bolted in. There's four bolts going across the front. And this will hold every one of them boards in. That, that holds that down. Some of them may rattle a little bit, but that don't matter. They'll never come out of there, because see, it's in the piece at the back end here. You got that bolted down, they'll never come out. They're always they're good to go. And then later I'll show you what to do after all this wood dries out. Gotta let the good hot sun hit it this summer. And when all that happens, then I'll, show, I'll come back and I'll show you then how we treat the boards and where they don't rot out as fast. They'll still rot out, but they're not gonna rot out as fast. So that's about all I got this time. So till I see y'all next time.